Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Lebanese armed group Hezbollah recently announced the firing of a barrage of phallic, two 333mm rockets at a military command center in northern Israel. This marks the first documented use of the phallic, two rocket by Hezbollah, having previously relied on the phallic, one variant for similar purposes. Produced entirely within Iran, the phallic, too offers distinct advantages including resistance to electronic jamming, substantial destructive potential, and an impact fuse with an arming mechanism. The phallic, too rocket, developed in the 1990s by Shahid Bagheri Industries, a part of Iran's aerospace industries organization, is a second-generation unguided 333mm rocket system. It is launched from a single tube-type launcher mounted on a vehicle chassis, similar to systems like the Shaheen-1 and Shaheen-2. With a maximum range of 10,800 meters, this surface-to-surface -surface rocket has been previously deployed in the Syrian civil war. Designed to target military and economic assets, the Phallic-2 rocket possesses a fragmentation radius of 300 meters, a maximum speed of 440 meters per second, and a length of 1,823 millimeters. Its warhead weight is 137 kilograms, utilizing a double base solid propellant. Notably, the rocket offers ease of transportation, preparation, and use, compatible with conventional ground and sea equipment, and boasts a shelf life of up to 15 years under standard conditions. Since the outbreak of the Hamas-Israel war in October 2023, Hezbollah and the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, have engaged in frequent cross-border hostilities. These skirmishes have resulted in casualties and significant civilian displacement, perpetuating a cycle of violence. Notably, Hezbollah's rocket and missile attacks on Israeli positions along the northern border have been met with retaliatory artillery and airstrikes by the IDF, targeting Hezbollah positions in southern Lebanon. The hostilities have persisted into 2024, with Hezbollah continuing its attacks on Israeli military positions, often in support of Hamas in Gaza. In response, the IDF has conducted counterstrikes targeting Hezbollah operatives and positions in Lebanon. These exchanges have been the most severe escalation between the two sides since the 2006 war, resulting in casualties on both sides, including Hezbollah fighters and civilians. On June 3, 2024, Hezbollah launched multiple rocket and drone attacks targeting northern Israel, resulting in injuries, property damage, and large fires. The IDF retaliated with airstrikes on Hezbollah positions in southern Lebanon, aiming to degrade infrastructure and neutralize key operatives involved in militant activities. Amid ongoing hostilities, the IDF has conducted military exercises simulating multi-front conflict scenarios, underscoring readiness to defend against potential threats. Additionally, efforts to address security concerns have included the discovery and destruction of tunnels in Gaza used for smuggling and militant activities. Despite indications of possible diplomatic efforts to de-escalate the conflict, both Hezbollah and the IDF maintain their military activities, heightening tensions in the region. The situation remains volatile, with frequent exchanges of fire and ongoing military preparations, emphasizing the precariousness of the situation and the urgent need for diplomatic resolution. That's all for now. See you later.